All right, so the first thing you gotta do is we're gonna take this fan off. So it's magnetic, okay? Now, when you what you guys see here is a little clip. This pops right off to take the fan off. Next, we're gonna take these two screws off to take off this hot end assembly, okay? All right, from there, this thing should slide right out. Before that, what you can do though, is come up here. You'll see these two clips, inserts, those pop out as well. So they'll pop out and then you can take this off and it'll slide right off. Next thing you wanna do is we wanna take the fan off the nozzle. So you're gonna take your hex wrench and you're just gonna put it in here and they screw right off. Next thing you wanna do is we wanna take this clip off that's holding the thermistor and the ceramic heater onto the nozzle, okay? So you're, it's on there pretty tight because it has to be. So you're gonna to need to finagle with it a little bit Use your nail if you have to, and there you go. Then you're gonna gently take out the thermistor, which is inside here. So, well, the ceramic heater is the first one to come off, right? Now we're gonna take the thermistor gently out, carefully there. So that's on the 0.4 nozzle right there. Now we're gonna put it on the 0.6. So now we're gonna take the thermal paste that comes when you buy the new nozzle and we're just going to apply it in the hole as well as where the ceramic part is all right so we're going to open this up and we're going to squeeze some of that out and we're going to apply it inside the hole first in there and we're going to apply it on the side where the heat ceramic heater goes all right now that we have that we're going to just put the thermistor and the ceramic heater back in there so it goes in the hole that we can now cannot see there it is so it goes back in there and ceramic heater goes Right there, it inserts perfectly, right? Then we're gonna take our clip that was on there and it should slide back in like so. Then we're gonna take the fan, we're gonna screw it right back on. And we're gonna put the sock back on, right? <laughs> oh, can they go in the right way? There we go. Put the sock back on. And now we have 0.6 nozzle. Now let's clip it right back on. All right, so now you're gonna insert the nozzle back up in there. The thermistor goes to the bottom one right here and the fan goes to this one. Then you're going to put your two screws back on here. All right, and then first we're going to attach the other fan into its connector there. And then again, this thing just magnetically goes into place. All right, so now that we're in the slicer, we are going to check how much faster our prints are going to be. So what I have here is the 0.4 nozzle with your standard settings right here with a 0.2 millimeter layer height. And I'm just going to click slice. And so with the 0.4 nozzle, the current printing time is two hours, eight minutes. Okay. So this thing is supposed to be printed with no supports. It's supposed to be support free. And so now let's change this. So we're going to go back to prepare. And up here to change the print settings, you're gonna click on this gear next to printer. 
and it's going to come up with a printer selection. Now we're going to go to the X1 carbon because that's what I have. And I'm going to click on 0.6 and I'm going to click confirm. What that does is it gives me the presets for a 0.6 millimeter nozzle for the rest of the profile. Okay, so now let's see how fast this thing can print with the new 0.6. So we're going to print slice. Okay, so with the new nozzle, it's saying we're an hour and nine minutes. So it shaved almost 50% on our time so that's on paper right now we got to see if it's really going to print nicely i mean we're going to check out the quality of the print all right so what we're going to do is we're going to print this calibration box and we're going to check out the quality of this print and here we go fresh off the printer tail looks good tiny bit of stringing um, maybe some retraction settings there. Definitely retraction settings. But the rest of the print looks good. And it was done in an hour. Uh, it doesn't say on the screen. But it was done in an hour. And so, yeah. Cut your print time in half. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, again, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. The files for this are in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll catch you later. Peace.